Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. So in the previous video, the discussion was all about how to observe the changes that are happening in a view model through a live data. To make the data observable, we used mutable live data and live data. And to observe the changes, we used the observer API in the main activity and then respond to those changes. But it is not always necessary that main activity needs to observe for the changes that are happening in the another class, which in this case is a view model. There is also a possibility wherein another class might be interested in the changes that are happening in the main activity that is the view and in android when i say the changes that are happening in the main activity it is always about the life cycle changes that is when the on create gets executed when the on start on resume on destroy those things are getting executed you basically want to do certain things so how do i do that what I am basically talking about is reverse of what we did in the previous video. That is, instead of activity observing for the changes in another class, the another class is interested in the changes that are happening in the activity. Well, to demonstrate that, let me go to the view model that I have implemented and let me write a method here. So, private void functionality based on some life cycle event in activity this is just a made up method name that i am adding here and i want to execute this method when activity is resumed so this particular method needs to get executed when on resume of the activity gets invoked so how do we do that well for that we have a concept of lifecycle owner and the lifecycle observer. Let's discuss what is lifecycle owner. Whichever class where the lifecycle methods are getting called, that is the lifecycle owner. So these lifecycle methods always get executed in the main activity. So any class that extends app compat activity is the lifecycle owner. And which is the class that needs to observe for the changes that are happening here that is this class that is view model so what we can do is we can make this particular class implement live cycle observer so now what happens is this particular class becomes eligible for listening to life cycle changes that are happening in the life cycle owner and this particular method we can now annotate it using the annotation on life cycle event event dot on create on destroy on resume so any of the callback methods that happen in the activity then this method will get called if that callback happens in the life cycle owner so right now what we have done is we have only created the life cycle observer we have not set this to a life cycle owner well to do that we have to go back to the main activity here and what we can do is write get life cycle so that gives us the life cycle owner and then invoke a method called as add observer and then pass main activity view model so this main activity view model since it extends life cycle observer we can add that as the life cycle observer to the life cycle owner and who is the life cycle owner our main activity so now let me run this and see what happens in the log cat you can see that execute this method when activity is resumed so this particular method is getting executed when the activity gets resumed so let me change the orientation and once again you will see that the method got executed because activity got restarted and once again on resume get called i can close the activity and once again restart the activity and you will observe that once again execute method when activity is resumed being logged and another thing that you have to understand is we created the view model implements lifecycle observer but this is not always necessary you can actually have any class and that class implement the lifecycle observer and once you do that if that class is added as a observer in the lifecycle owner which is a main activity or any activity that extends app compact activity then using the annotation you can basically control when a particular functionality from that particular class gets invoked with service lifecycle events that are happening in the activity or the fragment.
so this is a very important concept that you need to be aware when you are learning jetpack the life cycle owner and the life cycle observer has been introduced as a part of the jetpack library they might not be directly relevant to mvvm architecture but it is quite common that when you are using the view model you should be also aware what is life cycle observer and life cycle owner so that's what i wanted to discuss in this video in the next video we will just continue ahead with the discussion of implementing mvvm architecture that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye